The idea here is when you pray, you are in a position to ask Allah to give you more than you are capable of. To give you more success that can ever come from your own efforts. When you pray before Allah and you ask Him, He will provide you things that you could not have imagined. All of that which is beyond your own capability is called fadl. It's additional. It is above and beyond the expected. And so they pursue from Allah what cannot be expected. No, pol no political scientist expected it. No economist ex accepted it. No academic accepted it. They're asking Allah for a cure. The doctor has given up, but you can ask for Allah's fadl. And all of a sudden, even the doctor can't explain where the cancer went. He can't explain where it went. I have people I know in my personal life like that. I know people that were given three months to live. The cancer is spread all over the lungs. It's gone. You're, you just say your goodbyes. And, and homeboy goes to Umrah. And he just asks Allah, Ya Allah, if I get to live more, I'll just serve your deen. That's all I'll do. He told me himself, I'll just serve Islam if you let me live more. I know I'm only 23 years old, but I'm going to die in a couple of months if, you don't, if I don't have your fadl. Then he goes back for his follow-up appointment for the final round of chemo and they can't find anything. His doctor can't find anything in the, in the scans. Where did it go? What did you do? Uh, he said, I just prayed. That's all I did. He asked Allah for what? Fadl. Yabtahuna fadlam min Allahi. But when does the fadl of Allah come? When does Allah give you so much extra? How can he get rid of terminal cancer like that? How does he do that? He will do that when you seek Allah's contentment. When you want to make Allah happy, the stuff that you wanted above and beyond anybody else's expectation is easy for Allah to give you. That's no big deal for Allah. You just need to seek to make Him happy.